Africa's greatest resource is arguably its nearly 230 million youth, yet this tremendous asset is relatively untapped. This is largely due to limited access to education, mentorship, finance, employment opportunities and health required to meaningfully participate in the continent's socio-economic transformation and realize the economic dividend. To tackle this challenge, the government of Rwanda, in partnership with UNDP Country Office, launched Youth Connect back in 2012. Youth Connect is a, a flagship that started way back in 2012 in Rwanda, launched by His Excellency the President of the Republic of Rwanda. The motivation, first of all, is the political will, is the political vision, uh, the visionary leadership of His Excellency the President, who saw the strength of the youth as something very important and we had to tap into that resource or that potential that we have as a country. In 2019, UNDP signed an agreement with the Korean International Cooperation Agency, COICA, to support the scaling up of the Youth Connect initiative in Rwanda through a four-year program from 2019 to 2022 with a budget of 8 million US dollars. Well, consider this. 60% of Africa's population is under the age of 25. Now that is both an opportunity, but also a big challenge for African governments and African communities. The opportunity field is that while Africa is reputed to have vast quantities of minerals, and for the foreseeable future, it is likely that African economies will continue to rely on its mineral wealth. It is also true that if Africa is to develop, it has to tap into the creativity and the innovation of its young people. Since its initiation in 2019, the Quaker founded Scaling Up of the Youth Connect initiative in Rwanda, supported 2,861 entrepreneurs 952 of who are men and 1,909 women through boot camps and incubation program. The other impact of the Youth Connect is a boot camp, which is kind of an incubation process. And we have seen young people who have very good projects that we identified with the local administration. And the selection of these projects were based on key criteria. One of the criteria is uh, is the, the problem or the, the project responding to the challenges within the community? Is it solving the problem that the society is facing, where they are located? So it, open us, it opens up the young people's mind to always look at how do I provide solution. In 2019, Quaker signed an agreement for the four-year project named Support the Scaling Up of the Youth Connect Initiative in Rwanda where Koika has supported around 7.5 million US dollars to develop and harness the potential of the largest demographic in Rwanda, the youth. It was one of Koika's main interests to support the youth generation, especially in African continent, where around 75% of the people is in the youth age. One of the objectives of this fund is to increase youth access to decent jobs in Rwanda with the concrete goal of creating more than 20,000 decent jobs for young men and women. That business, uh, a couple of years ago, 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 a couple of igihembo ayanga innovator arwemeza miri mufite umushinga usobanutse UNDP koyika na ministeri y'urubyiruko n'umuco bagiye bansura mu bikorwa byanjye bya buri munsi ubujyanama 
bukomeza nagiye mu mahugurwa atandukanye ntarajya muri Youth Connect nari fite capital ya million so muri cyo gihe rero cya cyanyuma amaze kubona amafaranga nahawe kuko nabaye wa mbere mu rwego rw'intara y'uburengera zuba njya ku rwego rw'igihugu ayo mafaranga yose maze kuyabona ndongereye ho no kuyandi nari mfite mbasha none ho kwinvestinga no kurangura nkagira stock nongera abakozi nguri zindi mashini zihagije nkagira n'amafaranga y'ubwizigame ku buryo nagera mu kibazo runaka nshobora guhita ngikemura in 2019 the program also supported the establishment of the green innovation program or eco brigade with an objective of creating employment opportunities for the youth through environmental protection, ecosystem restoration, and circular economy. This specific component of the joint program has trained 13,065 youth entrepreneurs and has contributed to the creation of 163 cooperatives and resulted in the creation of 8,288 jobs for the youth, 4,345 of who are women, and 3,883 men. Eco Brigade was designed to respond to this, to create the opportunities for agriculture and other enterprises to be able to perform, but at the same time to create jobs for young people. Finally, the program successfully provided technical and financial support to young entrepreneurs impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. The scaling up of the Youth Connect initiative in Rwanda, funded by the government of the Republic of Korea and Koika, supported the implementation of the Ministry of Youth and Culture's National Youth COVID-19 Resilience Program. With the Koika's support, Youth Connect initiative has expanded in three main areas. The first, increasing youth access to the decent jobs in Rwanda. The second, the empowering youth to fully engage in policy making and civil activities. The last one, increasing the number of youth using health services and adopting healthy lifestyle practices. 23 countries across the continent, namely DR Congo, Republic of Congo, Cameroon, Cape Verde, Comoros, Ethiopia, Gabon, Gambia, Guinea, Ghana, Liberia, Madagascar, Mali, Mauritania, Rwanda, Sautom, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Chad, Togo, Uganda, Zambia and Zimbabwe have now launched the initiative and UNDP is supporting the continental scale-up effort that includes support to the Youth Connect Africa Hub and a UNDP regional program on youth. More educated, empowered young people have played a key role in making Korea what it is. Young generation will be an important driving force for its sustainable development. This is the reason why Korea, in partnership with UNDP, is dedicated to be a strong partner of this milestone Youth Connect initiative. The Shimira Chani Avatera Hunga Wi Mushinga kuko byaduhinduriye ubuzima nago nyine twumvaga inzozi zacu ari bitozageraho ariko baduteye inkunga batumizozi zacu nyine zibimamo UNDP na Koika barakoze cyane kubera ko tukimara kuba selected aha ngaha byatwongereye motivation niyo kumva yuko ibintu turi gukora hari abandi bantu baba bitekereza ifuza yuko cyatera imbere They've been a very strong partners from inception of the Youth Connect uh, program and their support, financial, technical, psychological, social, all the support of, that we have seen all through made this program a success. So we are very thankful and very mindful about the support of all the partners because to achieve Youth Connect, you need three things. You need program, you need policies, but also you need right partners. And the right partners uh, who are strategic uh, Republic of Korea, the Koika as an agency, but also the UNDP and one UN family in particular. <music>